Hey everybody, it's Jeff Rose from GoodFinancialSense.com. Yesterday I had a chance to sit in on a Social Security benefit seminar. And part of the seminar was just geared towards Social Security benefits and you know trying to help our clients decide you know, when is the right time to take their benefits, you know, if they should maybe wait uh, at a later date to take them, and also address you know, whether the, when the spouse should potentially draw that Social Security benefit as well. Uh, but one of the takeaways I actually got from the seminar was regarding your Social Security statement, and which they refer to as the statement. And for those of you that, you know, it's like, you know, how often do you receive your statement? And more importantly, what I want to talk about today is what happens if you want to request a new statement? You know, how do you actually do so? And this is actually one of the little flyers that they gave us was just showing, you know, how you can request your Social Security statement online and uh, Ms. Patty Duke here just claims how easy it is, how you can do it in less than 10 minutes. So I want to kind of put that to the test almost, uh, but also, too, to kind of show you how you would uh, request your Social Security statement if you're wanting to get a new updated one. Uh, first and foremost, you actually don't have to go online to do it. You can call your local Social Security office to do so. One thing I will say, and this is actually the uh, Social Security uh, individual employee that gave the seminar to, told us yesterday was, their office lines are in just terribly busy, that they are constantly either uh, processing claims, doing new paperwork, you know, taking phone calls, etc. It is, and they, she admitted, it is incredibly difficult to actually get through to the office. Most times you call and you'll get a, a busy signal. So just FYI, I'm not sure if that applies to all social security offices, but you know, if you're having trouble trying to request it via the phone, uh, that is potentially why. Now, the other option you have is actually going into the office there, filling out the necessary form, et cetera, and doing it that way. Uh, but then, once again, they said they're always busy and you might be waiting in a long line. So if you have access to a computer and you feel comfortable going online doing it, then that's how I want to show you today. So without further ado, let's actually head online to take a look at where you'd go to get your Social Security statement online. And first step, if you guessed it, is the Social Security Administration website. And the web address there is www.ssa.gov. And you can actually see that highlighted here. So type that into your web browser, hit enter, and this will come up. And from here, it's actually a breeze. Um, you'll see here in the left-hand sidebar, look for request a social security statement. All you need to do is click that button and they kind of give you some information about what is a statement, why automatic statements, need to request a statement, etc. Uh, you'll actually want to click on to need to request a statement, and that will prompt you to this page here. Now, as you'll soon see, before you actually go through the process, you're going to want, you're going to, want to get this information handy if you don't have it already. Uh, the name on your Social Security card, your full legal name, You'll want to know your social security number. Uh, it's also important. Your date of birth, your place of birth, and your mother's maiden name. So these are uh, key pieces of information that are essential to uh, requesting your social security statement online. Uh, the other things that they'll actually write also suggest you have is a record of your uh, your earnings history. And I think as we'll soon see, they actually will. It's optional, but if you have your record earnings for the, the last two years, it just makes it that much more helpful for them to retrieve uh, your statement. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So once you get to this page here, uh, the other thing too that you'll want to notice here is that there's actually, even though it is um, online and you would think that it would be open 24-7, uh, there are actually only certain times that uh, you can actually do it. And that's actually up top here, uh, Monday through Friday is all day except from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Uh, for some of you late birds and might be requesting your social security statement online at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we know more power to you, but you're going to have to wait until 3 a.m. So uh, Saturday is 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday is 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then holidays is uh, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. So, And you can see all those times here uh, as well. So, so let's actually go down to see. This is just more information. Uh, the other option, which I didn't didn't mention yet, if you actually want to do it by mail, uh, you will request this form here. This is the Social Security Statement Request Form SSA uh, 7004. I'm going to pull that up real quick just so you can see it. And uh, let's see. So this actually is a PDF that should pull up. 
gonna take a minute for it to download. There you go. So here's the actual uh, Social Security statement. If you wanna do it via the mail, uh, I wanna say that I read somewhere, let's see if I can confirm that. I wanna say it's gonna take you about four to six weeks uh, to get it back by doing it this method, just FYI. So, but this is the form that you would need to do if you wanted to do it uh, through snail mail. So, but let's go back to the online version. So if you want to do the online version, scroll down here and Although you can't see it, there's actually a little button. You want to just click the request a social security statement button. It's at the, the bottom of that. And that will get you to this page. So here is where you actually start entering all the information in. And just basic information. Uh, what, do you, any, uh, what, do you, uh, what language do you speak? Social security number, first name, middle initial, last name. Uh, your date of birth, whoops, place of birth, gender, mother's maiden name, telephone number, address, and this is where you start seeing some of the optional information. You got a different name there, mailing address, city state. Uh, if you have another social security number that you have used. Just all basic information. And here's actually the, the earnings portion I was mentioning. Last year's earnings, this year's earnings. If you have that information, it's just helpful, uh, not required to, to get your statement. But like, as I mentioned, any, any more information you can give them, that much more helpful. So, uh, And basically, all you do is fill this in, and then you'll just click on Continue. And that will then will bring you up to a confirmation page to where you just confirm all the information and... Submit and you're good to go. And that's how simple it is to request your social security statement online. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, I want to say as well, even online, it's going to take the almost the same time uh, turnaround that would via the uh, snail mail by doing that, uh, the form 7004. Uh, so either way, it's going to take you about a month, a month and a half to get it, but it's super easy. There is no cost. This is free. Um, but if you need to get that information, if you're you know just trying to figure out what your benefit is or you're trying to do some retirement planning, you don't have a, the most current statement handy, this is the uh, surefire way to do it. So hope that was helpful. If you've got any more questions regarding Social Security or anything financial planning related, head over to the blog, goodfinancialsense.com. And I've got tons of uh, information over there to help you out. Uh, until next time, we'll uh, see you soon.